What up my followers and subscribers? I am here to do a review of the hit musical called Cats. Ah. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. I did not see this at ASU Gamage. Uh, to those who have seen my Facebook pictures, this is where I saw it. So, I saw it in Tucson at the Centennial Hall. You can tell by the table because, yeah, the Centennial Hall. It was my, now before I get into this review, here are a few, few things I like to point out before I go into this review. Here's what happened in the beginning. Here's everything I'll tell you before I get into this review. Uh. First off, this isn't important, but I just had to point out. They just released a brand new trailer for the new movie, Spider-Man Far From Home. And it did give out some detail that it takes place after Avengers Endgame, man. I don't want to spoil it too much. Well, if you've seen the movie Endgame, I would say pass the video and go watch it. Then you can watch the trailer and then you'll understand. If you haven't seen the movie yet, then don't watch the trailer and now I'm going to review Spider-Man Far From Home when it comes out in two months from now and second of all this past Friday I auditioned for MCC's production of Shrek the Musical and guess what I got a call back ha and the roles I went for are Lord Farquaad Thelonious and the Wolf not gonna lie, I'm happy I didn't get a call back for Farquaad. I got a call back for a fairy tale creature, and I hope it's the wolf, and I also hope I can get Thelonious. And I mean, if they need someone to play Thelonious, I could tell them that I'm willing to do it. But if they cast someone else, hey, I tried. At least we'll get a Thelonious, at least, maybe. But yeah, callbacks are today, and I'll announce in another video what my role is and yeah now on to the review I saw the show the Centennial Hall in Tucson on Saturday the matinee performance my it's two hours away I live in Mesa Arizona Tucson is just two hours away from where I live so my mom and I drove around 10 40 in the morning and we saw the matinee performance of cats which was at 2 p.m. And the Centennial Hall was a pretty tiny theater. It wasn't very big. The lobby was very small, and so was the theater itself. I'm telling you, it wasn't that huge. It wasn't much of a Broadway theater like you would expect. But I'm going to say that now this show was another musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber. And... It was also, it was my fourth show to see. My first, here are my first three that I saw in order. The Phantom of the Opera, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and School of Rock. Wow, I can't believe I'm going to say I saw that show about a year ago. At Gamage. And this show, Cat, I won't tell you, it's a, I thought it was an amazing show. All the actors dress up and act like cats. It had some great songs. But it didn't have a plot summary. They're just a bunch of different cat stories all out together. I wasn't expecting there to be a plot line, but I'm going to point out that Carrie Renee Fuller, who played the role of Grizabella, when she sung the hit song in the end, near the end of Act Two, "Memory," ah, oh, gave me chills when she reached out the high note. Watch the video or listen to the song Memory, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Other than that, I enjoyed the show. It was cool to see some of the cats run around the auditorium like they left the stage and ran around everywhere. And here's one thing I I didn't get this. I 
Here is the DVD of the musical Cats. That was made back in 1998. It's an old movie. I didn't buy this at the souvenir shop. My dad bought me this two months ago to help me get ready to see it. And yeah. Yeah, it was a great show. I watched it. I've only watched it once, this once, and it was before I got to see it. And I would like to point out one actor who I was amazed with was my funny friend Timothy Gulan, who was Peter Bussifer Jones and Gus. And if you all don't know, here's the brochure I have pro program. I want to show you some pictures of Tim and his costumes. Uh, here he is as Bustopher Jones. And here he is as Gus. With the. Oh, don't mind that. Uh, right here, I'm pointing to. Sorry if it's too dark, but he's signed right there. And not only did I get this by this, I also bought this t-shirt of cats. I really like this shirt. I think it's great addition. And to be honest, every shirt I buy is pretty much 100% cotton. But I know how to wash them. Hello. Tim, if you watch this, I'm going to say I had a really fun time interviewing you. And I got having dinner with you at the same time. I'm glad I got to see you again, buddy. Thank you guys for watching this review and wish me good luck on my callback and I'll mention in the video what role I'll be playing in my next review. Stay tuned for that and I'll tell you how rehearsals will go if it happens. But I say enjoy life while we all can.